Do you ever just stop and think? Really, really think. Ask yourself, why am I here? What is the meaning of life? Is it have a point or does it have a square? Do you ever just think of silly things? Do you ever just go with the flow? Do you ever forgive? Do you ever think of how you are that part in the whole that that wraps itself around the very essence that just embellishes the part that That, that that is just you, your being, your essence. What, what is your constructs? What is your building blocks? What's your acronym? Like, what, what, what spell do you cast? What spell do you get bounded by? It, it's just, maybe I'm just talking. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm answering the question to somebody that has only ever truly felt the need to to go forth into that area. That that very thing that pushes you, your urge, your foundation, your understanding. Maybe I'm just talking to myself, even though I know that that's what I do, because even though you call somebody else's name, it you're really just talking to yourself, because everything's off of oneness. But really, have you ever just stopped and thought and felt what's pushing you? What is that urge that just compels you to bring forth your embellishment of your joy? For it has something to do with your free will. It has something to do with forgiving yourself. It has so much to do with it. And I don't mean forgiving yourself by forgiving yourself, by understanding that things happen and just going with the flow. I'm saying forgive yourself by it's backward and that you really are giving for yourself. It's kind of like thinking of what a mirror is or actually it's kind of like taking it from that of the seen to the unseen as this place is a unseen to what is the seen to another person as this place is a scene to us as the other place is unseen, basically. Um, there's there's also a lot of things that have been flip-flopped around of, like, being selfish is not okay. Being selfish is way more okay than not being selfish. Because being selfish means that you are taking your moment and living, taking your moment and being able to see what the other person is going through, compassion, and you living that in a way of you focusing on them and not yourself. So basically, to be selfless is to be selfish. As selfish is selfless. It's like the same with like empowerment, mint, M E N T. It's me not. I know I talked about this already, but it's why would you want to say empower yourself, but not to empower yourself? You know, it's it's really silly. 
it goes back to the unseen of the scene. There's a scene to the unseen. But... What? 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 I think I'm just going to relax. And, you know... Maybe you're wondering why, I mean, the that did that. Because is it really about me? Or is it about what I'm saying? Not the way I'm saying it. Not the how I'm saying it. But what I'm saying. Is there a difference? Or is there no difference? Is it all the same thing? <sighs> give and take. Take and give. <laughs> you know, it's... Go with the flow. <laughs> you know, have everything that comes to you, it comes to you for a reason. But I'm going to go. <laughs> okay. Allow your joy to dictate what occurs in your life and the way it plays out without having any of the other fear-based I can't do it resistance. Just go with what your joy says, which is what your heart is urging you to embellish yourself and to be selfish because you're the only one that knows self because you're being that self. Um, yeah. <laughs>